Soaring nearly 900 feet above the Colorado River, the Hoover Dam Bypass represents a breathtaking example of engineering achievement. A triumph more than 40 years in the making, the bypass eliminates wearisome traffic congestion along the dam's hairpin turns while creating a free-flowing interstate and increasing security of the dam, which is a vital source of electricity and water supply for the Southwest. The Hoover Bypass is uh, almost five miles of four-lane roadway, includes an interchange in Arizona, in Nevada, over 3.6 million cubic yards of shot rock excavation, eight bridges, just for the pleasure of getting here to the big bridge. The project team overcame challenges of extreme terrain, high winds, and severe heat to achieve the 1,900-foot-long Michael O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, a visually stunning structure and a remarkable engineering feat that is the highest and longest arched concrete bridge in the Western Hemisphere, featuring the world's tallest concrete columns. The challenges of the project were many. Uh, first, those challenges were to create a team, that federal and state team that would come together to enable this solution. Uh, once, once past that, then you have to look at the challenges of the site. And in every way, our construction industry came forth, met those challenges. Our design and consultant industry came together to perform in an absolute uh, star way and uh, the stakeholders never wavered in their commitment to the project. When we developed a team to design this project, and we're talking about the full bypass approaches on both sides, we went out and got the best firms as partners that we could get in the country. And that included Jacobs, who did the approaches on the Arizona side, HDR, who did the approaches on the Nevada side, and TYLN, who shared the work with HDR, led the actual river bridge and shared that work with HDR. Two 2,500-foot-long cableways connected to 330-foot-high towers on each side of the canyon transported crews and 50 tons of equipment and materials into place during construction. To combat triple-digit daytime temperatures, concrete was poured from mid-air at night and cooled with liquid nitrogen-filled tubes. The arch, built in two segments that began 1,060 feet apart, was joined just three-eighths of an inch off perfect. Well, one of the things that you need to do to make a long span arch like this, 1,060 feet in length, is you need to use high performance concrete. 20 years ago, you would not have been able to construct an arch of this length. But with the high performance concrete, we were able to use 10,000 PSI concrete, cast in place concrete, in a real difficult environment but we were able to lick those problems up front by doing our planning work ahead of time. Complementing the historic Hoover Dam with its own majestic presence, the Hoover Dam Bypass bridges an engineering marvel of the past with today's engineering excellence.